Okay, today we're going to be changing the stretch belt for the AC on this truck. Now this is a uh, 2014, but there's a lot of years that this crosses over to. So if you have a stretch belt, well, just in general, any stretch belt, this technique will work for you. We're going to do it on this truck. So y'all stay tuned and we'll get right into this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the battery, the ground, because it's the easiest. I did a video on changing out the battery, and uh, yeah, it's not so easy. So I've got that disconnected, move it out of the way. This is the only 10 millimeter socket I have that survived. All my other ones are broke. So after our battery's disconnected, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Remove our PVC valves. They have clamps on the top. You just push the clamp and it slides out of the way. This one's underneath. Push, slides out of the way. And then you have two clamps for your throttle by and coming from your air box. Just take, this is a eight millimeter. Loosen them up right quick. And these should come right off. And there you go. Now we can see our belts. Thank you, Brandon. Okay, put it on the tire. <laughs> okay, so our AC belt broke. So we're probably going to take a wire brush and clean off this. But there is no tensioner here. There's a tensioner on our accessory right here. But no tensioner on this belt. Nor is there a tensioner on our vacuum pump belt. Let's see how that one feels. That one feels good. It might be a good idea to replace your vacuum, but these are both uh, stretch belts. So first we have to remove our accessory belt. So I just take the half inch wrench. You don't have to buy any special tools for this. You just have to make sure it's wrenching the right way. So you rinse that down, and then you can take this off. And I'm not going to take it completely off, because I just need to get our belt in place. But this is really hard to get through here. So that's all I'm doing. Woohoo! Okay, since we have our other pulley off, here was our tensioner that we used our half inch in. I uh, want to check this, make sure it spins, because you see right here, that belt burnt up, but I feel that is good, and the compressor looks to be spinning. So I don't think we have a problem here. I don't know why that belt burnt up, but it did. So I'm going to clean this off, see what it looks like. We took this brush, and we cleaned off and rotated the crank. Now when you're rotating the crank, go slow because you want it to bleed off the compression. And you don't want to fight with, you know, trying to turn over and compress the air in the cylinders. But we're going to put this on, and what we're going to do is we're going to put this all the way over our big crank, a pulley. And we're going to come down to our... Oh, our little pulley. So this way we're not pulling and trying to pull over all of this. Now, this is where them zip ties come into play because we want to hold this in here. So I have two zip ties. May just need one, but we'll do try two. And I'm gonna pull this zip tie in and lock it down. So this is going to actually hold this uh, stretch pulley 
or stretch belt on the pulley. So, get that good and tight. And if you need more, let's go ahead and try another one. Wow, the engine's still hot. Okay, when you pull these up tight, make sure they're actually holding the, the belt into the pulley. Wouldn't do a lot of good if it wasn't. Okay. Now we're going to take... And this is all the way on this pulley right here. And we're going to take and we're going to rotate it over. Don't get your finger cut in the pulley. And it looks like it's slipping on. Okay, and we broke these just as we wanted to. Now you have to keep turning that until you get your pulley back on. And you see it's moving over. There it goes. And now we have AC. Yay. So, here we go. And that's how you put that stupid pulley on. Uh, now we have to get this pulley back in place. This is much easier. I hate stretch pulleys. I think they're retarded. They're a way for GM to sh save money. Because they don't have to put a tensioner in. And I don't think the belts hold up as well. But we have this belt in place, it's all through the pulleys, and now all we do is take our half inch driver and stick in the hole. Make sure it's good in there because you don't want to bust your knuckles. And then you get that down. And here we go. That's on. Once you get done with this, you're going to have to wash all the salt you've sweated on your vehicle. Because you're doing this when there's it's high outside because that's when you notice you don't have AC. Okay. So now we got to put this back on. So reverse order. You just take and shove it in here. I'm going to start with the throttle body because it's the center. Then I'm going to put the, this over the air box here. That's where your filter is. Uh.
there. And I'm gonna tighten these up. Okay. Remember that's a eight millimeter. So on the crankshaft we use the 15 16 And then we're gonna put our PVC valves back in place. These are just, you just clop them in. There you go. And make sure they stay on. Right there. That's done. And then we'll put the battery cable back on. Finally, you uh, connect your battery back in place. This is 10 millimeter, so. Okay. <laughs> there we go. After you get the sk shit scared out of you, this is 10 millimeter. Go ahead and pop this on. I like doing the ground because it's not going to spark. And that's good and tight. And then you wash the sweat off your car. I am sweaty. Let's start it up and see if we have AC. Alright? Yep. Okay. So after you get everything set, you come in here and you crank on your AC. And you turn it on max. And you're wanting to see, because you're hot, you just installed this belt. And it, it is not easy. But, oh yeah. Oh, that's much better. When we were going to get the belt, no AC, nothing but sweat. Florida, it was 100 degrees on here, it was hot. Oh, that feels good, doesn't it? Oh. So, that wasn't that hard, and now we have AC. Now, winter or summer, it doesn't matter when you're working on your AC, Best to find out your AC is broken in the winter time. That way it gives you more time to find it. So if you're looking at this and you have a broken belt or you just have not checked your AC, it's a good idea to turn that on every now and then to make sure it works. So like in Florida, we don't sweat to death. If this video was helpful for you, give us a like. It's down there. It's like that. If you like our channel, subscribe. And if you're looking for great eats, good recipes, and stuff like that, go check out our blog. I post my stuff there, but my wife writes the best recipes ever. She uh, develops them herself, and I test them. So, and with that said, y'all please take care. Y'all stay tuned. Thank you. There is no stupid tensioner on that thing. Yuck. Make sure you can see that. Can you? Finally, you uh, connect your battery back in place. This is 10 millimeter, so. Okay. <laughs> there you go. After you get the sk shit scared out of you, this is 10 millimeter.